So I got some packages in the mail that you just love waking up to Amazon packages. I just need to find something to cut this with. But you can see right here, small rig. I got this as well. I actually don't remember what's in here. I think I do, but oh yeah. In here is a small rig cage for my Sony a7 III. We're gonna rig it out later today. It's a lot bigger than uh, I expected. There's a lot of pieces. Whoa, this thing's awesome. It's definitely a lot bigger than I expected, but this is nice. So I got the one, with, it's like a combo with a handle. So I got the handle where you can just like, you know, clamp it on and screw it off real quick. You don't have to like keep unscrewing and screwing, just like this little quick release. It can go on top or on the sides and you buy the NATO reels that go wherever you want to put them, which they should be here later. They were supposed to be here with this package, but it says they're going to be delivered later. I'll show you guys how that works. And it also comes with one of these little guys, which I have already, um, I have a couple of these, but these always come in handy with the cold shoe mount on top and you got your tools. Oh, here's a NATO rail I can show you. So this is the NATO rail. I believe that's what it's called. It's a NATO rail and then you take your handle or whatever accessory and then you take this and this and then you tighten it up and this is screwed onto your camera now you have a handle. This is really nice actually. And you got your Allen wrenches and screws for the rail. I believe this is the other handle I ordered because I ordered two handles to put on the, on the cage. So one on this side, one on this side and then they're both NATO uh, rail systems so you can take them off, put it on top, put it on the side. It's really nice. It's got like the soft grip right here. So it'll be on the camera like this and then you can grab another handle from the other side. I'll show you guys later how I'm going to rig this up but this is dope. This is dope. Ooh. Alright, so it is not later today. It is actually like two days later because I didn't get to uh, finish this video that day that I got all this package. But what I did do in the last two days is build this camera rig out, which right now what you're going to see is my Sony a6000, not my Sony a7 III on here because I'm filming with my Sony a7 III right now and I needed something to kind of demo this cage out. So I put my a6000 on it, which actually it works with the a6000 as well. I mean, why wouldn't it? It fits in there. It actually looks pretty cool to see the a6000 all rigged up on here because this camera pretty much has the same like ergonomics or whatever as the a7 III. But this is the cage. This is the small rig cage. I forgot the model number because I think they go by model numbers, but everything will everything you see in this video will be linked down below. But this is the cage. This one came with the top handle, which has that NATO rail I was talking about that you can like slide off real quick. And it has these little buttons here where you can just kind of press down on it, slide it back on, and then you just clamp it on again, like so. I wish I had a table to show you guys all this, but unfortunately I don't. So as you can see the cage, this is the cage itself with the handle on here. These are the little nat NATO, NATO, I don't know how, what they're called, um, NATO. These are the ones I ordered apart from the one I got included in the cage. These are the side ones so that I can clamp the other handle that I bought, which is this, this small rig handle. And I could just do the same thing where you kind of clip it on and tighten it and then you have the handle on there and now you have a side handle for your rig and that helps with stabilization you know maybe holding it from the top or you're doing like a top top shot you know one of these a lot of people do like using this this kind of style to do this kind of shooting side handle you know you can kind of hold it like this as well do one of these things if you're running obviously top handle if you want to get low there's a lot of possibilities with this you guys and then you know you got well it's backwards right here but if we turn it around and you can also take this handle and switch these little pieces around and put it on the other side. I'm not gonna switch it right now, but you can do the same thing. You still got a handle on the opposite side. Cold shoe mount right here for a mic or different accessories that you might need. You know, you wire that to the camera and now you got a microphone. But you can mount your monitor right here, your monitor on this top rail back here, 
or in the front. There's just so many possibilities with this cage, you guys. I've been sleeping on these. I wanna kinda rig out my a7 III since I'm not getting the a7S III anytime soon. I was like, I'm just gonna rig out what I got right now. I'm gonna buy the cage, buy some of the accessories, buy some of these handles, some things like that. It's honestly the last few days I've been kind of using it, just messing with it, a game changer. Like it you can mount everything on it you know and you have everything in one package and then on the bottom you can put one of these guys on there one of these like manfrotto mounts or whatever they're called um little cheapy ones i bought on amazon you screw that on there too and from your from your tripod you can put it on take it off real quick go handheld go back on the tripod and it works the only thing i don't see how this would be convenient is is for hybrid shooting if i really need to i can take it out of the cage pull it out no problem and start shooting photos but even then you can shoot photos like this you know you can kind of do this you can still i mean if you don't have the monitor on there you can take it off real quick and start shooting photos doing this stuff you know like you can still hybrid shoot i guess you could I, that's what i'm trying to say might not be as quick or as less bulky as just shooting with the camera but you can still hybrid shoot yeah and the build quality on these things you guys know small rig they build uh top quality stuff it's really sturdy feels great in the hands gives it really good weight to the camera which also helps with stability when you're shooting handheld the heavier the camera the the less micro jitters you're gonna get in your footage but yeah, you guys, so far I'm living the cage. I haven't had the chance, obviously, to go out and shoot with it on a gig or anything since, you know, COVID. But so hopefully soon, I get the chance to use it. These are just tools that we use. A lot of people will rig these out to be kind of like these cinema cameras, which is something I wanna do with my Sony a7 III. Eventually, you know, I wanna mount the, I wanna mount a V-mount battery on there and, you know, a mount box and all that. Gives you a more professional look aesthetically and, you know, video-wise, that's all up to you, whatever you're shooting, but, aesthetically to the client you're gonna look a lot more professional <laughs> with a big old rig rather than just a mirrorless camera either way this this looks cool feels good in the hands as a shooter makes you feel cool you know get a little shoulder rig you could do that too you can buy a shoulder rig for these things and walk around with it um there's a lot of possibilities with these cages and i'm, I'm super stoked to like buy some more things for the cage um add more you know accessories mount a bunch of crap on this <laughs> camera just for fun um, but for now, I just got the basic setup, you know, cage, side handle, top handle, mount my monitor up here and the camera inside. And I think we're good to go with this. It's gonna, it, this is dope. I'm excited for this. I'm glad I invested in this. I've been sleeping on this and I don't know why I haven't bought one of these. So if you want to watch more videos, click either one of these two videos on the screen right now and just don't be a butthole and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand. We're almost at a thousand, you guys. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there.